President William Ruto and South Korean President Yoon suk yeol on Wednesday signed bilateral agreements on trade. Ruto affirmed Kenya's commitment to working together in strengthening strategic partnerships. Africa is the present and future horizon of opportunity and limitless advantage. By 2050, a quarter of the world's population will be living in the African continent. The African continent is home to the largest reserves of national, natural resources, renewable energy, and a home to the youngest population in the world, and the place where you have the highest return on investment. All that put together, ladies and gentlemen, makes the African continent the next frontier for development, for business, and for investment. It is an honor this evening to join you at this auspicious occasion marking Korea-Africa relations. The wheels of history are a fair measure of the journey of humankind. Struggles of one generation speaks well of the aspirations of the next. And the success of the past inspires the dreams of tomorrow. President Ruto said that Kenya is keen on expanding economic ties with the East Asian nation and exploring areas of cooperation, especially in ICT, education, pharmaceutical and infrastructure. The path to a more prosperous Africa also demands that Africa does more with itself. We need to trade among us ourselves more as inter-Africa trade remains a mere 18%, the lowest compared to other regional blocks. This is going to change as the Africa continental free trade area takes effect, and indeed, the SACFTA is no longer a dream. It is happening. Kenya is honored to be one of the pilot countries for the implementation of the inter-Africa trade under the new trade, free trade area. Indeed, the dispatch of the first batches of Kenya exports under the AFCTA on October 10th this year was one of my earliest assignments upon my inauguration as the fifth president of Kenya. The ACFTA business has started ushering the first steps in the long journey to a stronger trading continent, which comes with so much potential for our international partners like this great country of Korea. As per the world's estimate, by 2030, Africa will have a population of 1.7 billion and with the envisaged benefits of Africa continental free trade area of free and open markets, the continent would avail unmatched prospects in terms of trade and investment and digitization of services. Ruto is in the country for a three-day state visit at the invitation of President Yoon suk -yeol.